It's December 2nd. Uh, it's Illinois' second gun season. I had to work yesterday and the day before, which was a Thursday and a Friday, I believe. And uh, some other guys, I think Steve killed one this morning, but weather's been about right. It was like 45 mile an hour wind yesterday. It calmed it down quite a bit, but it's still kind of breezy, which is fine by me. So I chose to sit in this little blind. The wind's not quite right for it, but you know what? It's gun season, so I don't really care. We've got a nice view of a little deer highway in front of us. Let's hope something comes by. So wouldn't you know, the first thing that comes by is a helicopter towing a giant rig What was really important here is I told myself, oh well, it doesn't matter. The worst thing you could do is get discouraged, call it a day. I just sat and I thought, well maybe this thing flying around will get the deer on their feet. It's got to at least kind of mess with them a little bit and maybe it'll get them up and they'll decide it's uh, safe to travel. Matt! Well, I need your help. Okay. Right there is one of the scrapes he hit. Okay. So he took the same trail out as he did in. Okay. So, so we, we know, know he walked right here. Right so I was looking right in here and I thought somewhere in here is some blood. Cool. Hey, look. Okay, so you see, oh. Yep, more. So he was going this way. More, boy. Yep, let's keep looking. 
Oh, that Dude, look scrape. at that scrape. Stand in that thing. Holy cow. The, see how it's all disturbed all through here? Yeah. Oh, look. Blood, blood, lots of blood. That's bubbly blood. That's lung blood. That's great. See how red it is? Yeah, it's like really Bright red. red. Yeah. And it has bubbles in it, so that's a great sign. Okay. Well, I think this is as far as it's going to go. You think so? I mean, I don't know. I'd keep trailing. Okay. You don't want to give up. Watch where you're stepping. Did I step on a thorn? Look at that. <laughs> That's it's bubbly. So and much look. Good. look. So he's going this way. See any more? Yeah, you don't want to give up that quick on these things. I see him. Yep, there he is. Alright. Let's go. Yep, look at all this blood. That's blood all the way down the hill. I, Here. My feet! Here. My feet it's alright, just rip through it. There you go. Alright. Look at all that bubbly blood. Oh. Heck How yeah, buddy. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 pointer. Here, pick him up for me. Nice, wow. dude. This is crazy. That's perfect. Hey. All right. Go ahead and push off and spin it. Go ahead and shove off with your paddle. Yeah, you don't get water in your shoes when you're using them like this. All right, boys, let's roll. Let's get it. Um, you want to sit up by me, Cade? Awesome. <laughs> no, you're good. Sweet. Nice job. In the right spot. So here we are with my 2022 20, firearm buck. Beauty. 10 pointer. Good one. 25. All right. Finally got the blind flip back over. So we're going to uh, just wait it out a little longer, get settled in here. It's only like what, Kate, seven o'clock maybe? Yeah. We're gonna give it a little more time. I can't see a single thing. You see him? 
After we ate breakfast, Cade got a call from his cousin saying he was going to come hook up with us and go hunting with us in the evening, which was fantastic. So me and the boys headed out a little bit early because I knew we had some work to do to the blind before we'd be ready to hunt. They helped me chop down all the weeds on the inside of the blind, grab this new tarp, throw it up over it. We brought some wire and some pliers with us and we tied the tarp to the frame. We cut our window holes and we were all set up and ready to hunt by about four o'clock. At about 4.45, I saw a deer in the field in front of us and uh, everything got more interesting after that.
Did you smell that smoke? I know. It smells like a fire. Good luck, Charm. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, go ahead and tell me what it is. It's a nine point buck. You season. It's a big one, too. The biggest buck you've ever killed, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. 50 yard shot, pretty uh -huh. Yeah, 50 yard shot, too. <laughs> yeah, pretty hard. Great shooting. Right under the shoulder, too. Yep. 10 seconds later, he would have been in the weeds probably. Yep, it was perfect timing. Yeah. Great. Obviously, Kate had a uh, tough experience having a buck at 15 yards, not being able to get a shot that morning, but he was highly motivated to get out there and try it again, and it ended in sweet success. So the moral of the story is that sometimes it's just not going to happen, and sometimes it is. You got to you gotta take it, take it with stride. When it comes to spring or fall food plots, your bedding grasses, your mineral, your access and exit screen, and your upland game mixes, Real World Wildlife Products has you covered. It's not about a fancy bag. It's about actual seed and proven results.